the game is going to be played in week three, but I'm letting you know right now, I think this game has massive ramifications on the Steelers season. I, I really think it's the biggest make or break game they're going to play all year. Because even though they're 2-0 and and the Bengals and Ravens are 0-2, maybe this is going to surprise you guys. I would still pick the Steelers to finish third in the division. So you're not like I'm, the 50% of people who would pick them to win I'm the not, division yesterday? I'm not ready yet to... My, my mind has not been changed yet on those two teams enough to change my uh, preseason opinions on the division. I think the Browns are still a last place team, even though they beat Jacksonville on Sunday. I think the Bengals lost to the Chiefs and could have easily won that game if not for a questionable call at the end. If they lose to the Commanders at home Monday night, then I'll come in here on Tuesday and say, well, now we can start to put some dirt on the, on these guys. But I still think the Ravens and Bengals, even though I don't believe in Lamar Jackson as a big-time quarterback and think he's overrated, I think that the Ravens and Bengals are still going to finish with a better record. I think the Bengals are a very big threat for that because they're playing a fourth-place schedule. The Ravens, three, the Ravens have a brutal schedule the next three weeks. Three probably. teams made the playoffs from the division last year. I think history can repeat itself. You throw Miami out now because of what's going on with Tua. I don't look at them as a contender anymore. Teams that I thought were 50-50 that could go either way, good or bad, Jacksonville and Indianapolis in the AFC South are both 0-2. And very few teams go from 0-2 to the playoffs, and I'm not looking at them as exceptions to the rule because Houston's going to win that division. Raiders, no. Broncos, hell no. It's like, for me, the Jets, the Chargers, Steelers, two teams for, or three teams for two spots. And I think the Jets are still better than the Steelers. Aaron Rodgers, I think, looked better against Tennessee, looked okay against um, San Francisco. They've got better weapons offensively than the Steelers do, Chris. Brees Hall, Braylon Allen is suddenly good. Garrett, Garrett Wilson, Wilson is I mean, very and good. I, and I like Aaron Rodgers more than I like Justin Fields or Russell Wilson. I really think that seventh wild card could come down to a head-to-head tiebreaker at the end of the year between these two teams. Am I nuts? No, I think that, I mean, that's how I sort of looked at it. I think I had the Chargers in as my last team in, and I had the Steelers basically just on the outside looking in, so that's clearly how I, I viewed mean, it. I mean, it's not a division game, and they're up two games on the Bengals or Ravens, but that's, Donnie, is that, what do, what do you make of this? Am I putting too much on this game by saying that? Maybe a little bit, but I get what, I do get what you're saying. Like, we're going to look back on this game and think this was a true tide turner because the Chargers have put themselves in position where they look like a playoff team given how the rest of the AFC has shaken out so far. And the Steelers, no matter what the the final score of the first two games are, they've put themselves in the same situation. No, but I, I get it. Like, it's a swing game for them. Well, they've got this game, and then I think they've got a six-game run after it, including Washington right after the bye week, where if you win this game, you're 3-0. and If you get through the next six games, 4-2, and I feel like even with that schedule being what it is down the stretch, you probably get to at least nine wins because the Browns appear to just be a trash I'm, fire. I think they can get to the bye with only one loss if they win this game on Dallas Sunday. or the Raiders on the road. Well, I mean they got or the, the Jets, Jets at too. home. I think I think two. I think they'd go two and one in those three games, and that would only be one loss. For some reason, I, even though season. I think the Jets probably are better than them for the reasons you laid out, I would like their chances against the Jets because I think they'd heat things up on Rodgers. And I, I I know he looked much better in week two than he did in week one. I still don't think he wants to move around much. I think he's going through the same journey Cousins did last night, which to his credit he pulled off, which is figure out what you actually are capable of doing and then go do it. Donnie just has breaking news on the, the Tua situation. What happened there? Uh, they're putting him on IR. He's... Earliest he can return is week eight. That seems reasonable to me to have him cool his heels for several weeks uh, while they figure. This I don't have in front out. of me who they play, but I mean they're done. It, it could crush without, their season they're without done. him. I think they're a vastly different team. I do think this game is is important for another reason too. 
and I hesitate to say this because it's just stupid to put this team in the ground, no matter how much I want to laugh at their, their good, but I think somewhat overrated head coach who loses a lot of games he shouldn't lose in the fourth quarter. Baltimore has at Dallas, and they're going to be pissed, and they still have a talented team. The Bills, who I'm going to take an early partial victory lap here. I thought rumors of their demise were greatly exaggerated, and they appear to be the Bills yet again. Yep. At the Bengals, yep. who you know are going to be pissed. By the way, they're one of the only teams who started 0-2 in the 14-team playoff era and made the playoffs. They, they could be 0-5. They did it. The Ravens could be 0-5. And, and then it doesn't get much easier, Pony. Commander's fine. At Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay's good. Mulsey might have just put in a $10 battle right, game they, to win it all. Okay, there are six losses, potentially. At the Browns. I don't think they'll lose, but that Browns defense could keep that game close. They're sure. going to beat the Broncos, Bengals again at home. My point is they could have five or six losses by the time they actually see the Steelers in week 11. No doubt. I think they could end up being like a 10 and 17. Also, the only other time Harbaugh started 0-2, get... do you know what their record was for that year? 5 and 11. That's with Joe Flacco. 